It's time to craft. Let's go. Well, let's go, guys. Today is another Fab Five collaboration with none other than the host, Donna, the Creole crafter, Felicia with BOK Media Life, also known as the Lamp Queen, Sweet K over at At Home with K, and then the Diva Extraordinaire, Melinda with Abby Dald, and of course yours truly. So today we are creating farmyard rustic decor. Let's go guys. So in this first DIY, you see that I have one of these um, square wood pieces that you can find at the Dollar Tree. This was something relatively new to my store. And so what I've decided to do was take this square and I have added some of that plaster color paint by the Waverly brand. It is a chalk paint that you can find at most um, retail outlets. I know that I've purchased mine from Walmart and I am going to give both sides of this piece of wood um, this plaster color paint and I will be mixing it with some Mod Podge that way when I get ready to secure my calendar piece yes we are going to use some calendars to this so you see I have this cute little calendar and it says home sweet home I've already applied the Mod Podge to it I laid down the calendar piece and then I'm using some parchment paper and my mini iron to reactivate the Mod Podge. Now guys, this is going to come out very cute to me. I cannot wait for you guys to um, see this in the reveal. And basically all I'm doing is taking some of that white rope, that chunky rope that you can find at the Dollar Tree. And I am going to create somewhat of a mini border around this piece. And as you can see, I am applying hot glue to the bottom portion of this sign. And then I am going to cut off the edges because what I was trying to give the illusion of was that these were like the little piglet tails. And so I am just making sure that they are as even as possible on the end and unraveling the edges of it. And then what I did to the bottom, I am going to do the exact same thing to the top portion of this piece. Um, this is going to be a hanging decor piece. And as you can see, again, I am unraveling the ends of the rope to give this the curly tail look of the pig. And then now I'm taking some of that same jumbo rope and I am just outlining the tail of the pig that's in the calendar to just give this more of a, of a raised 3d effect and of course you know you gotta add a jute twine bow you know most of my projects comes with these jute twine bows i think it just makes the piece look so so cute now you do not have to add this you can leave it as is and move along with it without it and now I'm taking some of this Mod Podge and I am going to apply some of this hay to the bottom half of it as if this pig was sitting in its own slop or sitting in a field of hay so I think this turned out really cute and plus it added some character to it and now we moving on to DIY number two again we are using one of the wood squares from the Dollar Tree and I am applying Mod Podge to it and this piece is a little different um, because I decided that I wanted to create and show you how you can take um, free images off the internet to create beautiful decor pieces and since this um, collaboration was about farm yard rustic decor I wanted to capture as many animals that you would see in a on a farm and so 
like I said, I went to the internet and I was like, hmm, instead of using the calendar pieces that you see so common with um, crafters, I went and picked out this adorable little cow that's sitting looking out the window um, of a farmhouse truck. And now I am creating a border around it just to hide the white edges of it. I did not feel like cutting it out. I did glue some of those flat dowel rods to the piece um, to create or frame this picture out. And again, guys, I thought this was really cute. And I just basically used the dowel rods that I had previously used and, and just pieced them back together to create this um, frame using, of course, my miter shears, the little small ones, handheld. And I'm just measuring them and cutting them as straight as I can. If you are a regular on my channel, you do know I always joke with you all about me not being able to draw a straight line, even with the ruler and cutting out is no exception. <laughs> but again, I wanted to create this border around this cute little cow. I think this is adorable. I cannot wait for you guys to um, see this in the reveal. And while I have you watch me um, make this frame for this, I want to welcome all of my new subscribers to the channel and all of my returning subscribers. Without you guys, I would not be um, making any progress on this YouTube journey. And it is for you um, and your diligence and your support that has allowed me to be able to start to really grow in this sector. And I cannot say thank you enough. Um, to the host, Donna, uh, thank you for allowing us to um, create some rustic farmhouse decor. I absolutely um, love rustic, so adding a farmhouse was nothing um, nothing to it just to do it so this was fun for me i hope that i um did you some justice with this you gotta let me know what you think um guys and as you can you know i've told you before this is a part of our monthly collaboration with the fab five ladies you hear me talk about them all the time felicia who is the lamp queen you uh at bok media life melinda who is the diva extraordinaire, the Dollar General Queen. I mean, you want to see styling on a whole nother level, check out Melinda over at Ivy Dolled. And then you have Sweet K, who loves to um, create beautiful, realistic um, sweets using clay. And, and I mean, you're talking about somebody who can dupe a McKenzie child. Oh my gosh. You want to check out K at, at Home with K. And of course, the host, the Creole Crafter, who is the rustic farmhouse decor extraordinaire. Make sure you're checking out the Creole Crafter. And of course, yours truly. Again, our collaboration was to create rustic farmhouse decor. And one um, element was to incorporate um, clothespins in one of our projects. And so that's just what I did. And I cannot wait for you to see how simple but cute these projects turned out. Now I'm taking your attention right back to the video. As you can see, I am about finished with the frame. I am now gluing down the dial rods. I have everything in place where I want it to go. And I really, really, this is one of the cutest little DIYs to me that I've created on the channel thus far and guys I tell you you can probably hear it in my voice I am still under the weather um, this weather change here in North Carolina is uh, <laughs> kicking my butt but nevertheless I um, wanted to make sure that I was able to get this video up ahead of uh, the uh, release and so right now you see me with these little letters these letters did come from I want to say they came from the Dollar Tree and basically in my head I was picturing what would this cow what is this cow saying as he's looking out the window window <laughs> all right Medea 
window. And so I said, move, get it, move. And so I decided to spell the word move and you'll see me glue that down shortly. But right now I wanted to clean up some of the edges where the pieces of the dowel rod was not a perfect fit. So of course you just mask that using some of these half beads that you can find at the Dollar, not Dollar Tree, at Amazon, from Amazon. And that's exactly what I did. However, if you cannot find those, you can always use anything. You can use thumbtacks or whatever, just to give your project a more cleaner um, look. And now I'm just taking in and just highlighting um, or brushing over the um, half beads with some of the paint to just match it. And as you can see, I am now gluing down the word move with two O like a cow move. And of course, you know, you know, I'm adding back the hanger because this is a hanging wall piece. And I thought this turned out really cute. And again, guys, I just want to remind you that this video is a part of the Fab Five monthly collaboration. And this month host is Donna, the Creole crafter. And so we're moving on to DIY number three. I do have four for you today. And as you can see, again, I am just dry brushing the rest of that um, plaster color paint by the Waverly brand mixed in with some Mod Podge to both sides of this wood piece that I picked up from um, Dollar Tree. And now I'm just sanding the pig just so that the paint will adhere to it and this galvanized pig did come from the Dollar Tree and now I am just sponge brushing um, some of the plaster paint on top of it along with some of the khaki color paint just to give it um, more of a semi-realistic um, look of a pig. I'm thinking about pigs and slop and slop and and all the stuff that they get into. And so now I am taking where the holes are, some thumbtacks, and just pressing them down on the inside of the hole so that the pig will stay on. So guys, again, I want to welcome everybody back to the channel. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the subscribe button. Don't forget about the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you when I upload anything to the channel. And also, guys, remember to make sure that you check out the playlist. It, it will be included in the description of this video. The participants for this collaboration is none other than the Fab Five Ladies, Felicia at BOK Media Life, Adana, the Creole Crafter, who is the host of this collaboration, At Home with K, that's K, and of course, Melinda with Abby Dald and yours truly. Please make sure you go over there and show these ladies some support. Make sure you tell them that their fair five sis, Joy said, what's up? And that she loves them dearly. And so again, now I have these transfers, these um, Dollar Tree letter transfers. And so I thought this was really cute. And, um, and so I added a little saying on here and it is so cute. I'll let you see it in the in the reveal and you got to tell me what you think. I thought this was so adorable and so cute. Again, guys, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on that subscribe button. Don't forget about the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you when I upload anything to the channel. So now you see me just dry brushing over this piece with some of that ink color black paint and now i am just getting ready to add some more of that hay to the bottom half of this piece to finish off this project and i just kind of dumped the excess adding me a little bow and that's going to be it for this project again guys this is a part of the monthly collaboration with the fab five ladies so we're moving on to DIY number four. This is the final DIY for this project. This is simple. I just took this sign from the Dollar Tree 
try brushed over some black paint on top of some clothes pins and that's going to complete this project guys you got to let me know what you think in the reveal coming up Guys, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Please remember that this is a part of a collaboration and go check out the playlist that's listed below. Until the next DIY guys, be blessed. Bye.